Okay, this is the list of all my Italian and Giallo movies and video nasty movies. First up is The Night Train Murders. Now this is a video nasty. It's uh, directed by Aldo Lotto. This is the unrated edition and a very good movie. Highly recommended. This is The Fun House. Another video nasty. Although not that nasty so I'm not sure why it was on the video nasties list. Pretty good, pretty good movie. A little boring at times, but still decent. Next is the Joel Killer, another video nasty. Two discs, uh, two discs set. Uh, actually, a really good movie. Good, good gore in it. Next is Anthropophagus, The Green Ripper, another video nasty. Uh, you know, half half good, half bad. So, you know, the, the gore is good. Some, you know, can be boring. Next is X, another video nasty. This is uh, actually has over two hours of bonus features. So, and it's not that nasty because it's the R-rated version, and that's not cut at all. So, then we have Cannibal Holocaust. The uh, Grindhouse releasing Deluxe Edition. It says on the, on the bottom, the most controversial mo movie ever made. I would say that is mostly true. It's a very, very, very hard movie for lots of people to watch. Uh, continuing with Video Nasties is Dead and Buried. Kind of a forgettable movie. Good if, you, good if you're wanting to collect Video Nasties. Otherwise, skip it. Here we go, two video nasties on one disc. We have The Boogeyman and Ret Return of the Boogeyman. The, uh, the Boogeyman's R-rated, but that's, again, that's the uh, uncut edition. And then The Return of the Boogeyman is not rated. So, pretty good movies there. Another video nasty, Don't Go in the House. This is another video nasty that's pretty standard. 5 out of 10. Not too nasty, I mean, this is uncut, R-rated, though. So, I mean, it's, it's not really incredible like some of the other video nasties. Next is one of the few American movies in the video nasties. It's uh, Evil Speak. It has uh, Clint Howard in it. It's actually a pretty good movie. Probably more along the lines of 6 out of 10. Another video on the video nasties, Inferno. This is one of the uh, Dario Argento movies that's on the Video Nasties. It's actually a pretty good movie, some pretty good gore, worthwhile for the Video Nasties. Next up is one of my favorite Video Nasties, and uh, one of my favorite movies, period, Zombie 2. This is the uh, two discs Shriek Show edition, the 25th anniversary edition. It's a really good movie. Of, of most of these movies, this is one I definitely worthwhile buying. Then Unhinged. This is a uh, yet another video nasty. Let's see it says uh, outsold poltergeist before banned on the back of it so get it if you want to. And next is Shogun Assassin. Definitely a worthwhile video nasty here. It's actually two, two movies combined. It's actually pretty good, really, really a fun movie to watch, highly entertaining, and uh, lots of uh, gore. Then you have another video, Nasty Killer Nun. Now this is uh, the uncut edition from Blue Underground, as many of these movies are. It's pretty good, just kind of boring. Then you have um, SS Experiment. This is the uh, unrated version. The, these these uh, SS movies, that's on the video nasty list, if you're going to get them, make sure you get them uncut because they're pretty much worthless to watch unless they're uncut. Then you have a uh, drive-in two, two movie feature um, on Possession and Shock. Now Possession is a video nasty and Shock is not. But both movies come in here and they're both uncut. 
and a audio commentary on see audio audio commentary on possession so some real good features considering this is it would seem like it would be a cheap movie but both two movies on one desk and good features. Then we have Cannibal Apocalypse, another video nasty. This one is set in Atlanta, but of course all Italian, with a few American actors in it. It's not that nasty, but I think there was a few scenes that put it over the edge. Then the Witch Who Came From the Sea, and yet another video nasty, uncut, unrated, widescreen. Um, this is a pretty weird movie. It's kind of boring, but yet you have to watch it because it's so it's so weird. Then another uh, drive-in movie pack. Both two video nasties on here: Mountain of the Cannibal God and Cannibal Man. Now, I paid ten dollars for this, and you can buy these two movies separately for fifteen bucks each, or you can get this movie pack for real cheap, and it's definitely worth it because. Again, both movies are uncut, unrated, widescreen with special features. So these these two these uh, drive-in video packs are pretty good. Then we have Eaten Alive, another one of the few American video nasties, directed by Toby Hooper. It's uh this is actually really good. It's the video quality is not that great, but if you watch it, it's very exciting. And one of the most famous video nasties, the uh, Millennium Edition of I Spit on Your Grave. This is a movie that you watch it one time and you don't exactly know if you like it or not. But then the more you watch it, the more you like it. And it's, it's a lot of fun because the, uh, the style of shooting it is kind of like half and half. The first half is getting to know her. Then getting she gets raped, and the second half is uh, her recovery and revenge. And a very similar movie is The Last House on the Left, another American video nasty. Um, one of the more famous directors, Wes Craven, directed this. Basically, uh, yet another revenge movie. Very good though. Then you have a uh, one of these. Three movie packs, and three movies in it, and these are either good or bad. In this case, it's a really good one. It has, um, first off, it has Delirium, photo of Giola. Now, this is not to be confused with the actual video nasty called Deliri Delirium, but this is just a Giallo movie, so this is not in the video nasties. And actually, an excellent movie. Then the second movie in the pack is a video nasty, uncut and unrated. House on the Edge of the Park. It's, uh, it's one of those movies that's high end on the list of actually good movies, I think. Then the third movie is Beyond the Darkness. Another good movie. Definitely watchable. Not, not boring at all. If you get this movie pack, it's well worth whatever price is charged on it. I think I got it for 15 bucks, which is cheap. The next on the list contains a another drive-in movie. This one includes Rats over here and then Hell of the Living Dead over here. And Rats is a, Rats is horrible. I mean, you watch half of it and then you expect something good to happen but it never really does. But Hell of the Living Dead is really good. So get get this for Hell of the Living Dead again, not rated uncut. It includes um, it, it includes an interview for Hell of the Living Dead. So video nasty, cheap press, definitely worthwhile. Then we have it's not a video nasty. It's not a giallo. It's it's an Italian movie, Emmanuel and the Last Cannibals. Now this is a uh, one of the Emmanuel movies that features the black Emmanuel, the uh, the Italian Emmanuel. And it's actually a pretty good movie. It's definitely watchable. 